So, so far our posting mechanism is working and we are creating posts here, which is awesome. Now we're going to put uh, a list of users here as friends for now before we start filtering them. So as you can imagine, the method for doing this is exactly what we did here. So let's go to our text editor. So what I'm going to do is we don't need the post.php, which one? Login.php. So we can remove what we don't need there. So here we'll look for where it says friends. So friends is right here. So friends bar is the whole bar and ID friends is, uh, this is one friend right here. So this is what we need, this one box here. So if I cut this item here, and go back to my profile, I'll expect the first user to be removed, which is exactly what has happened. So this is good. So we can create a new file and paste this content in here. So let me make it more user readable and then save this one as user.php because it will display one user, okay? So as we did before, I go back to profile.php so all these are friends right here. I can simply delete all of these. And all I need to do is uh, do exactly what I did for posts here and copy this part. So I can easily copy this and delete what I don't need. So let me paste it here, all right? So it's not going to be posts we're going to be getting. It's, uh, we're going to call them friends. That's a better spelling. So friends, let me copy this here for each friends. So here to differentiate it from the other one, I'm going to say friend underscore row. We don't need this row user because these are already users. So it's going to be like that. And then we're going to call the user dot PHP that we have just created here. Okay, so now friends, we haven't created this friend right here. So to create this one, we go up here. Now collect posts, that's well and good on profile.php and collect, where are we collecting? Uh, okay, this is where we're collecting posts but I want to be able to get users as well or collect friends. So I'm going to say collect friends. Now, in order to do this, the format is going to be pretty much the same as here. So I'll copy this and paste there. The only difference is that, the only difference, sorry, is that we're going to be using the user class. User is equal to new user and this is the id and here we will we'll add friends instead friends is equal to user because we are using user instead of get posts it's going to be get friends okay get friends that's the id right there so once we had, we've done this, uh, everything is going to be good. So all we need to do now is to create this function called get friends in the user, uh, user class. So this is the file in the classes. If I go to my folder, this is the user.php in here, which is this one. So this one has a function called get user and get data, but we want to add one more called get friends because this is uh, this reads the user database. So what I've done is I've simply copied, duplicated the get user, and then I'm going to replace it with, uh, I should have left a space here, get friends, okay? So let's change the query up a bit. Now get friends, since there are multiple friends, we're going to return the result as it is. We're not going to get only the first entry so we delete that part 
and we remove the limit one right here because we don't want to limit anything. So for now, we're going to make this very sophisticated query in future, but for now, all we're going to do is select everyone from users where the ID is not equal to this one. So definitely my friends are not me. So all I'm, go all I'm going to do is get everyone who is not me at this point. So there we go, get friends. That should work for now while we uh, create something more sophisticated. So it's going to return the result or return false. So this should work and let me refresh. All right, so we get first user, first user. So there are two people here. Now the reason they have the same name is because we need to go back to the user.php, this one that contains the data and actually replace with row. So the row we are replacing with here is, uh, let me go down here. It's a friend row right there, the profile.php. So all we are getting is the image and the username. So to paste the username here, let's just put a PHP tags and uh, echo the name. I'm going to say first, underscore name dot so let me simply copy this and paste it there and say last name like that and then leave a space oh sorry we put the dot afterwards like so and then we get the image now, since they don't have an image, we're going to do exactly what we did in uh, post.php, which is this part. We check whether they're male or female and then add the correct uh, thing. So I'll copy this and paste it here. So you can simply uh, copy that text there. So we assign image to the male JPEG. And then if we, it turns out that the Instead of using raw user, we're going to use friend raw right here because this is a user. If the gender is female, we use that. And then we're just going to echo the image uh, here in the source. Like so. And that should do it. So let me refresh the page. Syntax error in user.php on line 17. So let's go back. Line 17 is right here. So the reason that has happened is because I haven't added the closing tag right there or put a semicolon. So if I refresh, everything is good. So we have this and we have Mary Peary. Now you might be wondering, this name here is exactly this one, but I said not. Uh, but remember that we were testing to begin with, so there are two names that are similar here. So that is why. So, so far so good. We have our friends here, we have our posts here, and now all we need to do deal with is the uh, profile image and cover image, and we'll almost be home and dry. So I'll see you in the next video.